Well, the final pieces are falling into place for the great Minnesota get together. Just over 12 hours to go now until those gates open up, but already the fairgrounds are coming alive. Our Karen Scullin is live there tonight. Karen, a lot of anticipation in the air, right? Oh, definitely. It is busy out here, Amy, but probably in a different way than you're used to seeing. For one, the streets here are all lined with cars. Tomorrow, of course, they'll be lined with people, and the vendors we spoke to are ready and waiting for all of them. The food stands are set up and fired up, getting ready for day one of the Minnesota State Fair. All the vendors agree it's good to be back. We're just glad to be working again. But COVID is still a concern, with the butcher boys hoping their thumbs up stays that way for the next 12 days. I really don't know. I mean, we're just going to kind of treat it like it's a normal year and, and go from there. I don't know that if anybody can really predict. But the boys have been at the Minnesota State Fair for 25 years, so they have a pretty solid set of fans. Oh, it's a pretty unique steak sandwich. You yeah. know, no one really, yell, no, no one on the grounds does it. And of course, all the vendors are optimistic. Number one, the State Fair is fun every single year, and there's always new things, new foods to check out. This year, it's Fluffy's hand cut donuts. You can see it right there. And you do things a little different here. Pick a donut, choose ice cream, top with hot fudge, and then finish off with sprinkles. But a little insider tip here, there's a lot more to choose from than just sprinkles. Those are actually little donuts. Those are little candy donuts. Calories to curb your cravings are everywhere. But if you want to try a little body art, holy henna. There's Soul Shine Henna Body Art. A lot of my artists are amazing at just like whipping out some amazing freestyle stuff. So that's a lot of people really enjoy the the artistic ability of the artists at work here. And Drew says she's not worried at all about the COVID impact, saying fairgoers will be anxious to get out and have some fun. We just got back from Wisconsin State Fair, and just before that was North Dakota State Fair, where uh, people were really anxious to get back out there and have a great time. Without a doubt, everyone is grateful just to have the State Fair action underway once again. I'm just most excited to be opening these gates again. It's been a really hard two years, you know, for us, for everyone. And actually, COVID is not the biggest concern out here. It's actually the rain. All of them are watching the forecast. There's a little nail biting going on, as a matter of fact. So fingers crossed because all of these people out here, all of these vendors really need some good weather. And of course, a lot of people. We're live at the State Fairgrounds. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.